this is Janice from Welcome to Shavalot. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel as I create with the new Iron Orchid Designs Theory Merry Christmas. This is a fantastic transfer. I chose it for my first video out of this collection because it's my favorite. And we're going to take this Very Merry transfer and we're going to put it on this sign that I got at Hobby Lobby in the clearance aisle for $2. Stay with me and let's see the beautiful things that we can create with Iron Orchid Designs. This sign is metal and it is embossed. So the letters are raised, which would make it difficult for me to put a transfer on. So I am going to smooth the surface of this sign by covering it with IOD air dry clay. So I'm just going to take a big piece of clay off of that block. I'm going to work it with my hands and smoothen it and just the moisture from your hands and the heat from your hands will make the clay much more pliable and easier to work with. However, the clay does come out of the package absolutely creamy smooth, so it doesn't need a lot of that. I am going to add the clay to this sign, and I'm just going to spread it around, covering up the embossed lettering. So I'm going to just take this IOD brayer kind of help smooth this clay out. I am not going to glue this clay on. I am, I've done projects like this before where I spread out the IOD clay and I don't glue it on and it generally does stick, but that is your choice. If you'd like to glue it on, I'm sure that's an extra safety net um, and it would not hurt, but I'm not going to glue it on. I'm just going to make sure I have it on there nice and tight using my IOD brayer to smooth it out. Now that it's on there nice and tight, I do want to create some texture around the edges. So I'm going to take off any excess clay. I don't want to add a lot of texture in the middle because that is where the transfer is going. So actually I want to just kind of smooth out the middle to give my uh, to give my fairies a nice smooth surface. I want to give this a lot of texture. So I want to do a lot of weird things with my fingers. Add some clay here and there. Maybe frame it a little bit. I know the transfer is going on here, so I can do like a little frame. I'm going to let this sit overnight let it let the clay harden overnight and then i will add one of the most beautiful transfers you've ever seen before new iron orchid designs transfer fairy merry christmas so stay with me and i will see you in the morning when this clay has dried well it's the next morning and i am here with the metal sign that I put clay on and I've let it dry overnight and I did get some cracking which is wonderful because this is a vintage piece and any kind of natural occurrence of cracking is very welcome. So right now I am going to paint this with DIY's vintage linen. I've got this really awesome clay action going on here. DIY paint is a clay-based chalk paint and the clay allows 
some thickness to the paint. It allows it to adhere very nicely and it also allows some wonderful pigmentation. The paint has dried, so it's time now to add the transfer. It's had the clay added, it has been painted. I did not seal the paint, and I'm going to use this transfer, and I'm going to cut it right on that grid line. So every transfer pad comes with one of these transfer sticks. I'm going to press the transfer into that clay, which does have some texture. You could go right in with the stick if you want, but I just kind of want to press it in there. I love getting my fingers in there and playing. So I've got my transfer stick and I'm going to start the process. And you can see it is transferring nicely onto the clay. It helps sometimes to lift an edge and use the transfer stick. This is coming off beautifully. My goodness, it's coming right off. Okay, there you go. That beautiful, beautiful fairy is on my clay sign, but I'm just going to burnish it a little bit more with my transfer stick. Because there's texture, you just wanna get into the places where there is some uh, crevices and make sure it's in those crevices nice and tight. Okay, there she is. I'm using DIY waxes, but we're going to start out with the clear wax. And I am going to put the clear wax on with a cloth. You can use a wax brush if you want, but on my smaller projects, a lot of times I use a cloth. This is protecting your transfer as well as protecting your paint. You want to put a nice amount of wax on the sides where you've added any texture and then you want to wipe off any excess. You can see a beautiful sheen from those waxes. After the clear wax is on, I will be adding DIY dark wax with this little JRV stencil brush and I'm just going to dip it and wipe it off because I don't want too much. And I'm going to go around the edges with the dark wax. Actually, I do want a little bit more. Go around the edges with the dark wax. This will add to that vintagey vibe. Wipe off any excess. And you can see how beautifully the waxes bring out the texture that you've created with the clay. Next, I am going to add a little bit of shipwrecked wax, which is a beautiful vertigray color, and I'm just gonna add that with my finger. And then I'm going to wipe that off. So now you can see we have a lot of color going on just to give it some more, some more interest. So it's not just a flat piece of clay. I will be adding some golden rule. Make her shine a little bit. Just a little bit around the edges. And she, my friends, now is done. Stay tuned for the full reveal.
Here we have the finished product. There's that beautiful fairy on clay. So we can see the beautiful texture that I made with my thumbs, just pressing into the clay on the sides. You can see that shipwrecked wax. And I just added some beads and some ribbon. And she's so beautiful. She's looking like she's like peeking through some hair ribbon. She's beautiful. I'm so happy with the way she came out. I also worked on two more. This one I gave the full treatment and I added the dragonfly clay molds, some red ribbon and a pretty bead. And I put much more clay on her so that it would look like she is encased in a frame that has deteriorated over time. So there's a ton of gold wax, a ton of clay and texture, but she is definitely my favorite. I do, I just adore her. And we also have this pretty lady who I just added some lace ribbon. And she is just a beautiful fairy princess. And she has just a little texture with a lot of gold on the sides. So here are my three fairies, my project for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I really, really appreciate you being here today. My name is Janice from Welcome to Shavalot and I really, really appreciate you being here joining me today on my channel. Please like, subscribe, comment with any questions and all of the products that I use today can be found on my website, www.shavalot.com. Have a great day.